I thought I would have quail eggs in egg gravy for lunch. I thought I might as well share that with you. Uh, the ingredients starts with two cups of milk, which are in a saucepan already on the stove heating up. Two eggs, and these of course are not quail eggs, those are chicken's eggs. You could use quail eggs, I think it's something like eight quail eggs equals one large hen's egg, something like that, anyway. And uh, I didn't count, but that's a number of uh, quail eggs cut into quarters. Uh, two tablespoons of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, and I, some of my uh, green Derby sage cheese to put on top of it and melt that under the broiler, hopefully. So while the milk is heating up, whisk the eggs with the flour and salt. Try not to get it all over the house. The flour, of course, is what thickens the gravy. Try to get it as many lumps as possible out of it. But I'll beat that a little more and then I'll meet you over at the stove. If you hear the ticking away in the background, it isn't a bomb. It's my toaster making me two slices of toast. Once the milk has not come to a boil, but it's quite hot, you take a few tablespoons of it. Add it to the egg mixture. In theory, tempers the egg mixture, so when you add it back into the hot milk, you don't end up with scrambled eggs. Time will tell. This just gets stirred until it thickens. And I'll bring you back when it's thick and ready to add the quail eggs. It thickened quite quickly. But I want to let it cook for a minute or two just to get rid of that raw flour taste. And this is a bit of my Espelette peppers freshly ground yesterday. Add that for a little color and seasoning. I think that's thick enough. I'll shut the heat off. And I'll add, oh, add in the quail eggs here. Once my toast is ready, I'll show you the finished product. I was ready to do this and all of a sudden my camcorder said it could not record on this memory card. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I turned it off and turned it back on. Like with most computerized equipment, it works fine once you do that. So. Well, that's egg gravy with quail eggs. Now I will just put some of my Sage Derby cheese on top. I'll pop it under the broiler for a minute or so to melt the cheese and I'll meet you in the dining room. Fresh, fresh out of the broiler anyway. Let's give it a try. Cheese started to get a little browning on top. Try to get some egg here too, I think. Mm. That is very good. You could do it with any kind of cheese that you like. And obviously, if you don't have quail eggs and you want to put some cut up chicken egg in, that would work well too. This reminds me of something that my mother used to make when I was a child. 
uh, we would have it with a dried fish dinner. If you're not coastal, you probably don't know what a dried fish dinner is, but most parts of the world that would be dried salted codfish. Here it was pollock. Most people here don't care for codfish. But she would make an egg gravy with chopped up hard-boiled egg in it, and it would go along with the dried fish dinner. Very, very good. So this is sort of reminiscent of that, I guess, except we didn't have quail eggs back then. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll give this a try if you think it looks any like something you might like to eat.